All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. Today I'm joined by Sarah, my, my gorgeous wife and uh, my other gorgeous wife, Chris. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are out here today. I guess you'd be considered my wood wife. The wood wife? The wood wife. All right. But you might become a wood wife because here you are following uh, up on your promise. I wouldn't take it that far. No? no. Okay. All right. I well, you did promise at least once a week to be out here. She, she said twice a week, and I cut it back to once because I knew there was no way that you were coming out of here twice yeah, a week. Yeah, but once a week doesn't make a wood wife. No, no. I think that's why Chris I mean, you're gets out the here title. Four times a week, so. Yeah, right, exactly. So, anyway, we are out here, guys, and Chris and I, well, Chris has been cutting stuff up. I've been getting a fire going, burning up some of the scrap. Sarah had some time, so she said she could come out and run the splitter. And I guess we're just going to see how how much wood we can get done with three people with Sarah on the, on the controls. I'll be feeding her the wood. Chris will be cutting it. We'll see how many totes we can do and if it's, you know, faster than just Chris and I. Um, Chris still owes Sarah dinner. I do. We decided on sushi though because Jake hates sushi, so I can never get sushi with Jake. So And my maybe. Sarah also hates sushi, so, so it'll be it works a compromise. Yeah. yeah, so maybe me and your Sarah will go for Mexican or something and there you go. and my Sarah can go out for sushi because you're a sushi vacuum. I am a sushi you're, vacuum. You're like a Dyson. Yes. <laughs> they, they are always impressed by the amount of rolls that I order just for myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we already got the Easter Maid warmed up. You feeling good? I'm ready. All right. I have gloves that fit me this time. Yeah, guys, we, I have tried so Those many times small. to find work yeah. gloves. Those the ones, ones are I think they're, small. yeah, woman small. So I don't know. We, but I just have tiny hands. Right, you do, you do have small hands. So, all right, here we go.
got it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It's leaning on this.
Well guys, I was editing the video today during my lunch break and I got to the very end and me, Chris and Sarah filmed a great outro. It was pretty informative. We talked a little bit of banter back and forth about the splitting session and how little we actually achieved with that extra third person. And unfortunately, the microphones that we use didn't pick up any of the audio. So I gotta film another outro here today. It's raining pretty hard out right now and kind of like a frozen wintery mix. So I figured I would do it in the basement. I'm gonna take some time to sharpen up the old 500i. Chris mentioned that there might be a burr or something on the bar. I'm actually gonna flip the bar, blow out the air filter, clean up the saw because this upcoming weekend, it's gonna be put to some work. We're gonna have a, a special guest uh, who has a YouTube channel of his own stopping by here at the Dude Ranch. So um, we're gonna definitely be using the saw and splitting up some wood with the Eastamade. But I just wanted to quickly talk about just how these Eastamade box wedges work because although we had an extra person in Sarah running the splitter, um, we didn't really produce all that much firewood. You know, we did two totes in about 45 minutes, um, which definitely is not breaking any records. And I think that's largely in part to, you saw in the beginning, um, we had Sarah was splitting up some really big ash rounds, which was great. There were only about four or five of those. And then we went down to some pretty small diameter stuff. And the downside to the box wedge is that even with a small diameter piece that let's say is like 10 inches, you still have to run that through twice as opposed to like a six way wedge where you could just probably run it through once and get six of the ideal firewood size pieces. So the box wedge in this scenario probably actually takes longer than it would have if we had just been, you know, as opposed to if, if we had just been using the six way wedge. So I just wanted to point that out. Box wedge is really good for big and, you know, medium size rounds. But for those smaller rounds, if you have a lot of them, it might be worth swapping out your box wedge and putting in a six way or even the tall four way or something. And no matter what Easton made machine you choose, they make a whole gamut of wedges, you know, so if you get a lot of pencil poles, then, you know, they'll make that tall four way or they'll have the six way. I believe they have a, a 12 way and like a 16 way even too. So depending on the machine you choose, Eastamade has the wedge for you. The last thing I wanted to point out is that Chris and I will be at the firewood at the furnace fellowship at the furnace. I'm sorry. We will be at Firewood at the Furnaces, Fellowship at the Furnace. So we're excited to see everybody there. Drop a comment down below if you guys will be there. Um, if the weather cooperates, we will be bringing the 2228 that's outside in the wood yard. So you guys can get an opportunity to run that machine as well as a whole bunch other Easton made machines. I think it, there's going to be a really good um, rep representation of, of the whole lineup of their wood splitting machines there. So look forward to that. Um, but as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Really appreciate it. Any questions, comments, or feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. You saw Chris and Sarah in the video. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.